and welcome to my Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke. Let me tell you guys, um, I just finished the story, the main story of Pokemon Sun, um, the day before I'm recording this, and let me tell you that I'm a little bit nervous. I'm actually a lot nervous. Um, this game is pretty challenging. Um, even with the experience share, but I'll, I'll get to that later. In the meantime, I'm gonna just go ahead and get right into the action. I'll get into the difficulty and the rules later, but basically I'm just gonna do a plain Nuzlocke and I'll get into the specifics when they come up. But we have a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui! There we go. Hang on now, give me just a sec. Hey there, good evening! So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason this reason region that's hard to say. That could be the reason this region is full of chalk. Let me start over. That could be the reason this region is chalk full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out. In you know what? I was all I was all set to read these lines, and I'm just screwing up, so let me take a deep breath. I'm just excited! Alright, here we go. You'll find them all over, in the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokémon, and we depend on them heaps, too. Some of us even battle with them, if we call ourselves Pokémon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait till I'm done talking to play? Woof! Ah, uh, Rockruff's so cute. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. All right, so um, I'm gonna go with our trainer character here. So now, um, in my main playthrough of Sun, I picked this one because she kind of looked like me. And I was thinking, I'm not sure if I want to try to do a character that is based on myself and looks like me, or if I want to go for, like, I wanted to do someone, like, I don't know. We're in Alola, I wanted to do someone with a tan. I don't know. But here's the moment of truth. I can't just dilly dally here forever. So, um. Well, I want to do someone that's a character. Like, I'll name them after me, but I want to do someone that's kind of a character, and then I'll. I want to not just be limited to my hairstyle, but do other hairstyles as well. So, I'm gonna go with this tan person here. And we're gonna name ourselves Sweet. Um, where's the... yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Yes, I do go by sweet on this channel. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everyone out there know you're on your way. Sweet. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo! Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. So, with Kukui's voice, I feel like he should have sort of a Hawaiian accent. But I'm not sure how to do that, so I, I'm kind of feel like doing a surfer dude voice. But I'm I'm hedging on that too. I'm not really doing a good surfer surfer dude voice. My throat is kind of dry, but anyway, I'm gonna be quiet because we have a cutscene here. And there you have it, kicking off Pokemon Moon with a little bit of uh, story development there. Very cinematic. 
We can already tell some stuff is going down at the Aether Foundation, but that was three months ago. We're talking about today. We look like we're out in space, but I guess it's just the reflection on the water. So yeah, because this game is still fairly, like, recently out, very recently out, I'm gonna try and, you know, read most of the lines, um, you know, pay attention during the cutscenes and important stuff, just because maybe some of you are playing it along, maybe, or haven't started it yet and you want to spoil yourself, which I don't know why you want to do that, but whatever reason you're here watching this, I appreciate it. So I'm gonna try and and not skip through things for the most part, unless it's really, really tedious and unnecessary. But I'll try to keep all the story intact. Ah, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Yeah, one thing we learned about our mom is she's a procrastinator. She does not unpack those boxes. Just... I know I don't want to spoil anything, but she doesn't. So now our pet Meowth, which is my favorite character in the entire game, is going to go wake us up and we get some of his point of view. It's so cute. I just love it. I want a real Meowth in real life. I mean, I have a pet cat, but he's not as lovable. So yeah, we have our character. Actually, you know, with this character, we look a lot more like we're actually our mother's daughter, as opposed to the pale version of the trainer character. So Meowth's calling us up. We're gonna get out of bed. So that is a feature in this game, by the way. They removed sitting. I suppose there was a technical reason or something. I don't know. So they removed sitting, no benches. Sorry, guys. But you can lay on beds, or most of the beds, anyway. Oh, I love Meowth so much. I love this Meowth, too. And we got moving boxes full of our belongings. And the book, Adventure Rules, that our father gave us, wherever our father is. But this is just another, another Pokemon game where you don't have a dad. Or you do, but he's somewhere. Okay, so if you check out this globe, you notice that Africa is like right up front. So I posted this on Twitter. Could it possibly be that the next Pokemon regions or a Pokemon region in the future would be based off of Africa? I mean, this could just be, I could just be making a mountain out of a molehill, but if there's one thing that we've learned with Game Freak is that you should never, ever, ever, ever take the seemingly small details for granted because they could actually mean a lot. So. If we do get a region based off of Africa, it was foreshadowed right here, so we'll see. Anyway, let's get going. Oh, there's our mom. She's out on the porch again? Was that where? I don't know. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. I don't know, usually when I wake up after sleeping for a long time, I, uh, I'm very tired. I'm even more tired. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some, too. Yeah, I bet Mom would love an Alolan Meowth. We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? Sure, but as we're gonna find out, depending on who we catch, a lot of the Pokedex entries are creepy. Like, you might have seen some already, like for the Ghost-type Pokemon, they're especially dark, and that's always been the case. But even the not-so-creepy Pokedex entries are still kind of creepy in this game, so... But we'll see about that. Alright, it's Kukui. Okay, I'm gonna try more Surfer Dude in his voice this time. Just a little bit, not full-on... Hey there, sweet! The name's Kukui. Good to meet you, cousin. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Alola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Alola. It's still nighttime out here, yeah. Professor Kukui, yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. 
I just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kukui, would you? Already? Um, Kukui's already putting the moves on mom, but Kukui is a married man and our mom is a married woman. I just don't know where our dad is. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo gym leaders back in Kanto all these years ago, you know. All those years ago. I've been in love with the Lolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. So Kukui took on the Pokemon League in Kanto. That is some pretty good lore right there. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, sweet. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the island Kahuna and get yourself a Pokemon. Yeah. A Pokemon? Yeah, we get a Pokemon. Okay. Um, always happy, blah blah blah. But don't try and ha taking on the Kahuna yourself. The Kahunas are straight crazy strong Pokemon trainers. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. Well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Kukui. They'll simply give my girl a Pokemon? Then those kahunas really are worth meeting. Yes, indeedy. Hurry and get ready, sweet. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. Yeah, we have to go and get our hat and, and bag. And talk to Meowth. Oh, I wish we could take this Meowth with us. I mean, Alola Meowth, yeah, you're okay. Um... I just wish- I wish Meowth were a viable Pokémon without having to evolve. Because even with regular Persian, I like it okay, but Meowth is just... great. Okay, so we're all set, and I love the bag in this game. It looks like a fruit. In my other playthrough, I like- I pretty much never switched the bag, because nothing matched the greatness of the fruit bag. Now, to be honest, the- the clothing customization in this game I like a lot of the options better than in X and Y, but the I'm surprised the amount, like the selection of clothing actually seems not as good as X and Y. Oh, sorry, my computer display went to sleep for a second there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your new Pokemon. Woo, that's a styling hat, cousin. Yeah, it is a, it's a weird hat, but I gotta admit, it's kind of cool. It's got character. None of the other hats in the game have quite as much character as that one. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to getting your first- to you getting your first Pokemon, yeah? Something tells me she wants a Pokemon of your own. Of her own. Okay, so the thing with this game is ordinarily I would do- I would choose my starter randomly based on my trainer ID, the last digit. But if you look, we don't have a trainer ID yet, but I am gonna go into options and turn the tech speed on to fast. We don't have the option yet to look at our trainer ID. And in fact, we don't get our trainer ID until literally just after we get our first Pokemon. So I have no way to choose randomly on in the game. Now I could pull up a random number generator, blah blah blah, but really I want to... Well, let me put it this way, I started with Rallet in Sun, and that was all well and good. But I really, really, really want to pick one of the other two starters. And I want to choose which one I pick. And if I had the trainer ID, I would do it randomly, but I want to choose my starter for this one. And I don't know if it's really the best choice. I know I'm skipping lines, but really this is a little bit fillery. The beginning of the game is a bit padded, but I mean, they are setting up the story and they're setting up things for if, um, yeah, they, these are good, you know, if it's your first time playing the game and all that. Oh, and once we get the map, I'm gonna explain to you a little bit of thing about the different, um, different routes. It's mostly on this island, um, but the way that things are divided up into sections, I'll explain it after I get the map, but it's gonna matter for how we get our encounters. Um, well, let me just read the lines. So sweet, you're loving Alola already, yeah? Uh, I guess. No, yeah, I'm a, I'm enjoying it because I'm playing the other game. So in Sun... Well, alright, fine. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Alolan trainer's come to us. Professor Kukui, you've got to recommend another move for me sometime, please? Why? You already know which moves you want to use, yeah? You come find me the next time your Pokémon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. Man, I wish we could have our Pokemon out in the overworld. 
See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass there, here, yeah, to try to catch some wild Pokemon to add to your team. Okay, so I already finished Sun, and I am in the process of getting a competitive team together. Come on, young goose! <sighs> Alright. Yeah, da 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 da. So, uh, alright, this is not important stuff, so it's fine. Um, I'm in the process of putting together a competitive team, but things are really slow going, and... They're, they're so slow going that I even considered the cheating process of getting- of getting Pokemon. Not illegitimate ones, but- well, not legitimate, but like, legal ones, but, um, Pokegend. But it looks like that's- I'm- I'm leery about that because there's apparently glitches that could be triggered in this game by hacking and I- I don't want to get into- I'm a little nervous about that. So I'm gonna try to do things the old-fashioned way, but they're really difficult. So as far as as far as um, Wi-Fi battles go and streaming Wi-Fi battles, that's gonna be a while still, I think. But anyway, the, this town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy. See? Yep, every island's got their own guardian deity Pokemon. Huh? What's going on here? We were supposed to meet everybody right here. Yeah. Maybe they're all back here, there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian deity, Tapu Koko, are. Yeah. Sweet, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. I'll wait around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. I mean, he does. He's the only one who... who kind of does, um... based on the stere your stereotypical idea if you hear the word Kahuna. So, I don't remember... I don't- I don't know if any of the trainers here have any items. I don't think we get any items yet. But I'm just gonna check it out real quick. I think a lot of people just talk about their rock ruff. That seems to be- everybody has a rock ruff around here. Which is interesting because you can't get rock ruff right away. It's actually- if I remember correctly, you can't get rock ruff until... You're like just about to be ready to leave the first island, which is interesting. Alright, so I think that's it. Oh, there's one more little building we can check out, I think. Are there more buildings up there? No, I think the guy's blocking the other building. So yeah, no items yet. Which makes sense, we don't even have a Pokemon yet. Also, I like the girl's shoes look like Litten pattern and the boy's shoes look like Popplio pattern, but there's no Rowlet pattern, which is sad. Anyway. What is this? There's a mysterious girl. Really? You want to go up to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. Who is that mysterious young lady? Let's go find out. What have you got to say, buddy? What mysterious creatures? Yeah, yeah. Pokemon leap out of tall grass. The typical tutorial dialogue that people have at this stage in the game. It's not too bad, though. Really, this game is just kind of cutscene-heavy, especially in the beginning. But that's because there is a lot of story. This is a very story-focused game, and I, I'm not gonna, you know, reveal anything yet. Some of the story elements were a tad of a letdown, just based on all the hype that built up and all the speculation and expectations that were built up. Which is bound to happen when you see when you see hints of things early on, and then you start speculating, and you you go to the most extreme. But this story is the and the characters are the most developed, and it's the most it's still the most mature story in a way. Some it, they keep it simple for kids to appreciate, but you can tell there's a lot of hidden depth to this story. More obvious than in in recent game, other games, previous games, I should say. And we get a Spearow attack, which to me is kind of a nice little nod to the first episode of season one of the anime where Ash got attacked by Spearow, but I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Sorry, I talked over some of that cutscene, but we're gonna go check this out. And I like our character just as a blank face. Uh, what's wrong? Help! Save Nebby!
This poor guy. But hey, he brought it on himself. Those Spiro are attacking it, but... But I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Alright, well, let's go across here. This perfectly sound piece of construction right here. What is that? I'm not even standing on a plank. Well, I guess it is a perfectly sound piece of construction. Oh good, I emote a little bit in this scene. Well, that was brilliant. Man, look at that action. Tapu Koko saved our lives! Tapu Koko looks so intense. It's based on, like, a celestial chicken or something, but it's awesome. Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. He just seems fine with it. Pew pew! A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who are you, by the way? I think this stone must belong to you. Thanks for answering my question, jeez. We obtained a sparkling stone. Yeah. Looks suspiciously like a thing that we might use later on. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's, it's a secret, okay? It's a secret from everyone. Um... I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokémon, or... or something. I know it's too much to, for me to ask, but... Do you think you could see us back to town? Well, apparently we don't have a choice, so let's do it. I heard a Caterpie. Hey, sweet. Looks like you missed the Kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant. Oh, yeah. Looks like I already... Ugh. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes. You can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is sweet. She just moved here to Alola. Take good care of her. <laughs> we'll be the ones taking care of Lily, I have to say. So... You're also one of the professor's acquaintances? I think I read that wrong. It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back. Kahuna Hala has returned. Our guardian's chosen one is back. Only one of the strongest Pokemon users in all Alola. Yeah. Or wait, was that Kukui who said that? Because Kukui adds yeah to the end of all his sentences. But it looked like the random NPCs were saying things. Have I missed something? Nah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? Was she saying something? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this girl helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. 
And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped to save them. Swooped in to save them. Woo, that's something... Oh, woo, that's something you don't hear every day. Ho, oh, although it's said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy, my boy, I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I should entrust this brave and kind young girl with a Pokemon of her own. I think I was supposed to do that anyway, but okay. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. All right, so here is the moment to choose our starter Pokemon. And like I said, I will be choosing not by random because we really can't. First is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Cool. Next is the fire type Pokemon, Litten. And last we have the water type Pokemon, Poplio. I don't think that's what the words actually said. Bork? All right, so I know who I'm gonna pick. Again, we don't have our trainer card yet, so it can't be random. I mean, it could be random, but I wanna choose. I already started with Rowlet in Sun. So I wanna choose between these two. And I wanna choose my favorite of the base basic forms of these guys, which is Litten. Litten is so adorable. And I was just talking about how adorable the pet Meowth is, but Litten is amazing. I'm not a fan of Incineroar, I have to say. I mean, it's okay. But out of the three final evolutions of the starters, Incineroar is my least favorite. But Litten just barely beats out Rowlet for my favorite uh, basic form starter. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Oh yeah, so this is cool. This is like a 90s movie where the pet has to choose us. The Pokemon has to choose us. So let us see if little Litten there also decides to choose you. Come on, boy. Come on. I'm assuming you're a boy. You have an 87% chance to be a boy. Litten is staring at you with some curiosity. Oh, look at her face, so cute. Meow. Lily's worried. Oh, yay! It's so cute! Yay! And Litten lets me hold him. My cat doesn't let me hold him. You lifted Litten gently in your arms. Just, really just pause on that for a second. Look at how cute that is! Meow! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, why can't you be a Litten forever and just be really powerful? The fire-type Pokemon Litten is sniffing at you curiously. Oh, so little Litten has accepted you as well, sweet. Having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Yay! Okay, so, with nicknames in this game, I want to eventually do a thing, depending on how many of you guys are coming over from my Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke, you guys, um, over on Team Eclipse channel. If you guys are coming from there, you'll know that I like to have you guys answer a question of the day and leave a comment and then I'll name a Pokemon after one of you guys. Um, based on who answers, I'll either name it after you or if you have a name suggestion, I'll use that name suggestion. Um, it's gonna depend on how many of you show up, but as I am recording probably at least the first couple of episodes in advance because I wanna be able to release them more than once a week, hopefully, Maybe some weeks will be once a week, but I want to try to do twice a week. And if I'm feeling really good, maybe three times a week sometimes, because I want to get through this in a timely manner. So, with that being said, obviously this is the first episode, and I don't want to leave it on a cliffhanger because I am just going to record more episodes in advance. I'm going to give this thing a nickname of my own, of my choosing, and I'm going to name it after my own cat, because it kind of reminds me of my cat, Sarge. But I do need a question of the day, so... Well, I'll get to that at the end of this episode. I'm gonna finish this off with, um... With... Well, I'll tell you. Nice to meet you, Litten! Pew! 
Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kahunahala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, sweet. Now you've got a Pokemon? Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer. Yeah. And here's a lovely gift from me to help make it special, cousin. We get a Pokedex. A blank-faced Pokedex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah, that can automatically record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new partner, Litten, is already registered. Oh yeah, so check it out. And this is the trainer passport. So, let's take a look at what our trainer ID thingy would have been. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. We would have got seven, so we would have had to choose Poplio, because one, two, three would have been Rowlet, four, five, six would have been Litten, and seven, eight, nine would have been Poplio. But I don't care. I am so happy to- let's check out Litten. Let's check out Sarge the Litten. Let's see him. You have... Uh, I don't know, I think you're a physical attack attacker, but your nature... I guess is alright. For early game with Ember, it's gonna be good. Low special defense might come back to bite us because we're in a Nuzlocke. Oh well. You're adorable anyway. Can we use Pokemon Refresh yet? Oh, that is one of the rules, though. I'm not going to do Pokemon Refresh because I don't want to raise affection unless I end up, like, I don't know, getting a Sylveon or something. But I just want to look... I just want to look at Litten. Look at him. Look at Sarge. He's so cute. All right, I can pet him once. It won't raise his affection if I pet him once. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm done. No more, no more Pokemon Refresh for now. Because I'm not gonna- I'm, I'm especially not gonna use it for the whole, um, getting rid of status conditions, because I do want to make it things more difficult. One thing I'm not sure what to do with is the experience share, but I'm gonna handle that after this scene right here. This is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode because we're just getting things started. Probably gonna be a little bit of a longer episode. Let's we'll see. Um, let's see. How did I do- how did I imagine this guy's voice in my head? I don't know. Hey, you and me! Let's have a Pokémon battle! Um, who are you? Ha! Da ha ha ha! Where's the fire, boy? And what kind of a Pokemon battle would be- would that be if you weren't given a name first? If you don't even give a name first, excuse me. I'm just reading my own words, not what I see here. Fair enough, then I'm Hao, and my partner's Rallet. Your Litten looks really cool too! Thanks? Yeah, so let's battle! I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been looking all over for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, our first, your first battle already. Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins. Woo! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no-holds-barred battle from the both of you. Okay, I don't remember exactly how I... How'd I do this, um, voice? You will battle me, right? I know you will, right? How did I have- I have an- I have an image in my mind of- of how I want Hao's voice to sound in my head when I read it. But I can't quite grasp- I can't quite do that voice. But anyway, we've got Rowlet versus Litten here. The standoff. Which, of course, we are super effective to it, and we have... Well, we have an increased special attack nature, but... We must have bad IVs, because it's not any higher than our physical attack. Or we just have really good physical attack IVs. No, I think it's that we don't have very high special attack IVs, unfortunately. Oh, poor Rowlet. But look at Sarge, he's gonna level up! I love his little tail! I love his everything! All right, we defeated Hal. Hoo-ha! Hoo-wee! That gave me chicken skin. Sweet, right? Your Litten is awesome. Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know. I can't get I can't get that Hal voice that I want to do. Hmm. Sweet. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Here you go. With a blank face as usual. 
Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapo Coco at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, sweet? Yep, it rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, sweet, because this is where you are meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Well, sure. It would seem you have the markings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe and sound today, though, sweet. I read that wrong again. L Lily, you two should come with us, too. Yeah. Wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day, or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I will keep an eye on... Da-da-da-da! Pew! Oh, you! Would you try to not- Would you not try to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> we all have a good laugh. Oh, you. Oh, you. Oh, this is the best part of the beginning. Don't keep me waiting. Meow. Ah, so cute. But this is the best part because Litten and Meowth get to meet each other, the two cat Pokemon. Oh, I think I'm falling in love. Why did you choose this, sweetheart? Because it's cute. They're all cute, but this one's really cute. Well then, you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Ah, oh, they meet. Meowth and Litten, they meet. That's so cute. Okay, okay. Enough making my chair squeak. Alright, that is the end of the day, and we are getting- we're, We gotta be at at least 35 minutes by now, so... That is enough of that. Well, let's let's uh, finish this cutscene. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the day that I finally unpack. Ding dong. Yep, she is never going to unpack, guys. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, sweet. Now, as far as the time being um as far as the time being set 12 hours apart in moon from your from your 3DS clock, I think that the first few parts of the game are are like coded in, or what should I say, they're, um, the first few days, they're, like, programmed to be a certain time of day, the first, like, part of the game, but I'm not sure about that. I think so. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. The first question of the day is going to be on the experience share. I'm gonna go real quick, and I'll address it again in the second episode. Um, I'm recording in advance, so I'll probably get to that point before you guys can answer this, but with the experience share, I found in my other playthrough of the game of Sun, not having the experience share on puts you at a severe disadvantage, mainly in that you have to grind a lot to stay on par with levels. And with the experience share in this game, there's level scaling. So basically your Pokemon gets more experience for knocking out a Pokemon that's higher level than it, and less if it knocks out a Pokemon that's a lower level than it. So the result of this is that if you have the experience share on, it brings your Pokemon to fairly equal levels over time, and it also means that if your Pokemon start getting overleveled, they'll grow a lot slower and eventually won't be overleveled anymore. However, even being a couple levels overleveled in this game, it, from my experience, does not substantially decrease the difficulty. I still had a very hard time. I had almost my entire team wiped out a couple times, and being that this is a Nuzlocke, I do want an element of challenge, however, I do want to finish the game because this is a new game. Like, it's still a new game, I want to be able to have a full playthrough of the game, so I would like to not wipe out, like, a third into the game. So I'm thinking I want to have the experience share on, but let me know your opinion. If you've played- but mostly I want to know your opinion if you've already played through the game, because a lot of people that I've found have been saying it too on, like, this game is very challenging. You might get lucky a few times, but the AI in general is more challenging. The levels scale to the point that if you're not using the experience share, you need to grind a lot to be on par. And I don't want this to be a super grindy series because this is for entertainment. So let me guys, let me, let me guys, I always say let me guys know what you think. That's, but let me know what you guys think. But I think that's what I'm going to do. But give me your opinion. Anyway. I've said enough. This has been a long first episode, but, you know, we're getting started here. So, 
If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like if you're excited for the series. Also subscribe because I will be trying to do this series a couple times a week, maybe a couple weeks, will only be once a week. Um, but yeah, if you like to follow me on social media, like my page on Facebook, or follow me on Twitter, the links are in the description. Follow me on Twitch because whenever I get my competitive teams ready, I will be doing some Wi-Fi battle streaming. But, with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my Pokemon Moon Nuzlocke.